this government needs to smarten up and get these doctors here for these kids. Look at this boy. Can you not see what it's doing to him? Leaving his family behind to another province, three provinces over, when we have a hospital here in Saskatoon. Zach was diagnosed in October of 2020 with a chronic condition that causes inflammation and contraction of the esophagus, meaning that he needs a G-tube to eat and he struggles to swallow even water. Zach had a pediatric GI in Saskatoon until they closed their practice. Traveling back and forth to Toronto to see the doctor is now necessary, but not financially sustainable. My husband can't work because of injury. At the same time, Zach got sick. Um, we have three other children at home. We're traveling, leaving them behind for, with family because we have to travel to Toronto with our son. It's been uh, a long-standing uh, policy of, uh, of uh, uh, well, governments, I would say, over the years, uh, dating back uh, at least a couple of decades, I think, that uh, when it comes to uh, medical procedures that aren't uh, provided in province and when patients need to be sent out of province or perhaps out of country, uh, that uh, the procedures themselves are, are covered, but uh, travel and accommodations and, and those sorts of costs are, are, are not covered. And again, that's, that's been the policy for, for years and years here in Saskatchewan. This has taken an emotional toll on my daughter and my grandson and my son-in-law and the three kids that she has left back in Saskatoon. And they have, we have been reduced to bottle drives, GoFundMes. We're doing a supper just to try and raise money to get back to Toronto on May 7th. The first time around, we had Kinsman Tell Miracle, thank God, and Hope Air. They both helped us financially to get there. But this time around, Hope Air is the only one that can pay for their flights, two flights. So we have to come up with the money for Mark's plane ticket, the hotel, the food, which we shouldn't have to. We have a children's hospital. We are working very uh, diligently through the health recruitment agency and through the, uh, through the SHA uh, to fill uh, the, the vacancies that we have.